Hey there, we're working on the final challenge for parallel lists in the accumulators unit. This is also the final challenge of the unit, and as such, you'll find that it's just a little bit more difficult. What we're trying to do is implement a function called double sequence sum, which takes in two lists of positive integers and computes the following summation. That is, we have a summation starting at k equals 1 of negative 1 to the k times a sub k plus b sub k over quantity 1 plus uh, a sub k times b sub k. So the summation, pretty much anytime you see a summation, that's a good sign that you're going to be using an accumulator. And anytime that you're seeing uh, k in both a subscript and as an exponent, that's also maybe an indication that using the enumerate function uh, or, or something like the enumerate function, maybe a zip function might be helpful. Um, I'm gonna solve this problem two ways. The first way I'm gonna do it without either enumerate or zip, just like sort of a brute force solution. And then the second uh, solution that I'm gonna provide is going to actually be to use zip, which is going to be a little bit more effective um, or a little bit more elegant. So. I know that I'm making a summation, so I want to always start with some sort of accumulator variable. Then as I mentioned, I know that I am going to use some sort of for loop here. As I mentioned, this is a brute force answer. Notice that k up there starts at one. I left this variable blank. I wasn't sure what I was gonna use. Now it's pretty clear to me that I should just use k. And I'm gonna wanna go ahead and you go all the way to the length of whatever this list is. But if there are 10 items in my list, my final exponent, I want to be, I want to include 10. So I'm gonna to need to put a plus one here in my range call to make sure I include that 10. Now, the what I'm gonna do, right, I'm gonna use sum plus equals, and this way uh, I'm gonna be accumulating into my variable. But the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and set up just the structure of this function where I actually don't put in all the parts of it, but you can see I'm just trying to take care of my order of operations here, right? I'm just trying to any parentheses that are here, I'm emulating those and then I am also adding a couple of parentheses in some other places. Um, namely a set of parentheses around the numerator and a set of parentheses around the denominator. Uh, I've also added a set of parentheses here because I'm gonna wanna make sure that this multiplication happens before the addition. Although that should take care of itself um, without the parentheses, but better safe than sorry. So now I'll just go ahead and start to fill some of this stuff out. Um, we'll just put this one as nums a, a and nums b for now we know that we have to come back to that and here again nums a this time with multiplication but that's the entire list and we don't want the entire list typically if we just had a regular range right we might use i short for index and put i in here um, we don't have an i we actually have a k so we can go through here and put a K in each place, and that's a great start, but this is actually going to give us a little bit of an issue. I'm gonna come through here and actually break this line into two, just so it's a little bit more readable. Um, if we think about this, K is one on the first iteration, right? But if I use K in my square brackets when I am indexing my list, that's actually gonna give me the second element in my list. So if k is equal to one, but I actually want the value of zero in this square bracket, what I can do is I can actually just go ahead and cruise through here and make a little adjustment to k minus one for each of these things. And then just for the sake of making this clean, I'll space this out so they're even. And then I think the last thing that I wanna need to do is simply return that sum. So I'll go ahead and run the test. We should get uh, success here. Looks like I might have a syntax error. Looks like uh, float and built-in function or method. 
coming from? Oh, because I'm returning some, I forgot my underscore here. Give that another whirl. Hopefully we have a little more success. We can see that's correct. That's a great start. But as I mentioned, there's a better way to do this, something a little bit more elegant. And I spilled the beans. I said we're going to use the zip function. Now, in the zip function, I'm going to want three things here. The first of which I can see in my uh, function up here, the mathematical function that I'm trying to implement, that I'm going to want uh, K, which I have. Then I'm going to want an a sub k and i'm also going to want a b sub k those are the three variables that i'm going to want now when i want my k value we've kind of already established this in our, or we did we exactly established this in our last function right for my exponent i want to use that same range object starting at one ending at length of the list plus one it does tell me i can just go ahead and assume that my lists are the same length so the next option that i'm going or the next object that i'm going to need is a sub k and i'm also going to need b sub k and this is in fact where um i am using that zip function and I can just put in my list of A numbers, my list of B numbers, and then I'll need to refactor all of these. We'll turn A, that to A sub K, and this to B sub K. We probably won't need to keep it broken up so much anymore. We could probably get it mostly on one line. Here we go, we have a sub k again. And this one was b sub k. And in the end, I think all of my parentheses are paired, except for this one, who's all by itself. Um, that was the one I said I don't think we need, but we can double check it. But I'll go ahead and run that test. We should be in good shape here. And we can see this works as well, right? Um, this is a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to look at using the zip function, but that's how we can solve this uh, using the zip function or just using a single loop with an indexer and an adjustment. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.